Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Devotions for today, February 7th, 2022 from Church of the Palms. Feel free to share this devotion with anybody you would like. As always, let us center ourselves by listening to beautiful piano music. Our scripture readings today come from Hebrews chapter 13. They are from Hebrew 13, from 1, verses 1 through 3, 7, 9, 14, and 16. Let us hear the word of God. Let mutual love continue. Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers. For by doing that, some have entertained angels without knowing it. Remember those who are in prison as though you were in prison with them. Those who are being tortured as though you yourselves were being tortured. Remember your leaders, those who spoke the word of God to you. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do not be carried away by all kinds of strange teachings, for it is well for the heart to be strengthened by grace, not by regulations about food which have not benefited those who observe them. For here we have no lasting city, but we are looking for the city that is to come. Through him, then, let us continually offer a sacrifice of praise to God that is the fruit of lips that confess his name. Do not neglect to do good and to share what you have, for such sacrifices are pleasing to God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O God, our rock and our salvation. Amen. To me, this part of the letter to the Hebrews sounds like a set of instructions on how to please God. What do we have to do to please God according to this chapter 13 of Hebrews? We are to continue mutual love for one another and for God. In another word, we are supposed to love God and love one another. We are to practice hospitality, entertain strangers, they may be st angels. Remember those who spoke the word of God to you. Know that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Be content with what you have. Do good by sharing what you have with others. Scholar Thomas Long wrote in his commentary on Hebrews in the interpretation commentary series that Hebrews is a sermon, 
a long sermon in a letter form. The writer Hebrew is addressing real urgent pastoral problem, one that seems seemingly contemporary. His congregation is exhausted, therefore this letter or this sermon was written to encourage them to stay with the faith and to please God. Personally, today, I think perhaps that because of the exhaustion of the congregation of Hebrews was so real that they couldn't think for themselves how to please God or how to behave as people of faith, that they needed an instruction. Therefore, the writer wrote this to them in order to help them get back to being grounded in faith and please God. Today, here now, we too, in so many ways, like the Hebrews in this Bible passage, we are exhausted due to the long lingering pandemic. It has been nearly two years now since our lives have been upside down by COVID. We are wearing masks for safety. We don't have to wear the mask anymore. It is not safe to be together. Well, it is okay to get together. Children are kept out of school for safety. Children are back in school and kept out of school again. Workplaces are open now. Oh, by the way, it's not safe anymore. So walk from home, workplaces are closed again. Hospitals and care facilities are open for visitors now. We go there to visit our loved ones and friends and we get turned away. Not to mention many of us have lost loved ones and friends to COVID. Grief is real, heart-wrenching and exhausting. It is okay to eat out at restaurants, it's safe now. No, it is not. We are not sure we're coming or we're going. So very exhausting for now nearly two years. In the midst of all of this uncertainty and changing of our time, our lives and our situations, we do know one thing is true and certain. Jesus Christ is the word of God. God is full of love and grace. God holds us in God's arms with love every day and all the moments of each day. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. God holds us in God's loving arms every moment of each day that we know for certain and sure. Yes, God holds us in God's loving arms. So like the Hebrews, let us continue loving God, loving one another and loving neighbors. Let us continue practicing hospitality, even in the midst of all this uncertainty. Let us be content with what God blesses us with every day. We do receive God's blessings every day. Sometimes it takes a little bit to look more carefully and um, intentionally to recognize what it is that we receive from God. Let us to continue to do good by sharing what God has blessed us with others. Let us pray. Our most gracious and loving God, keep us faithful and grounded in your love all through our confusing and exhausting days. We love you for loving us first. In Jesus' name, amen.